All right, we're going to do Dance of Fire, okay? Now, there are some things in here we haven't gone over yet, so I want to go over those before. So, um, if you want to play it faster and not wade through all of this, you can fast forward a little bit, but we need to understand how to do 2 before 61. That's called a tremolo, and that means that you take your bow, if you're going to practice this with me, put your finger in between the bow hairs, the bow hair and the stick. I just recommend your pointer finger, which means I need to tighten my bow a little bit more. Don't just do it in the air. It'll make your bow hold stiff. And you're just going to light, pull the bow lightly and fast to the middle, to the, I would say the upper third. And you're just going to shake back and forth real light and quick. Okay? So here it is in slow motion. And really jellyfish fingers. Okay? Jellyfish fingers. So what's going to happen is when you put that on the string, it's going to make, I'll do it on open G. It's kind of dramatic, shimmery kind of a sound. Okay? The hard part about that is going to be counting because you have to do it a bunch of measures in a row. See all those ties? So you have to do it for one, two, three, four, five, six measures and gradually get softer. So the hard part is going to be counting that. So you're going to have to count to three six times. So you're going to go two, three, one, two, three. Now we're at 61. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're done. You notice I got lighter and lighter and lighter. And that's what you're supposed to do because it ends up being pianissimo by the end. Okay. That's really the only new thing in here, with the exception of in the coda. Okay, look down at the coda. And if you look two lines from the bottom in the coda, you have at the beginning of the line, B, 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 C, D. And then it looks like somebody drew weird little flags on top of those Fs. And the reason is I really want you to play F on the D string there, then go to open G, rather than the F on the C string. And the reason why is that F on the C string would actually have to be called F sharp, and it would involve us doing something called an extension, which we have not learned yet, and I'm not ready to teach you yet. Okay? So let's just play it on the D string. That's why it looks like those little lines are there. Those are on the D string. Okay? I don't think I marked that very well, but... There it is. Okay. All right. We're going to try this from the top. Remember, when you get to D, S, L, coda, go back to nine. And then after 17, you jump down to the coda. And I'll kind of whisper that as we go along so people don't get lost. Okay. All right. Here is Dance of Fire. Thank you. 
some places in there where we had to bow lift and they're not written in the music so if you play this a few times if you want to go ahead you can kind of write those in your part if you're playing from the screen obviously you can't do that but just know if you end up on a down bow and you got to do another down bow you need to throw a lift in there okay all right thanks hope you had fun <laughs>